हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स सो हाउ मेनी शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स हैव यू लर्न इन विच यू नो यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू मल्टीप्लाई द नंबर्स वेरी वेरी क्विकली आई थिंक देर आर अबाउट हंड्रेड शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर्स एंड यू शुड बी रिसोर्सफुल इनफ टू मल्टीप्लाई एनी नंबर इन ए सिंगल लाइन बाय नाउ here is one more single uh, line short trick which i am going to tell in this particular video a special video for my special subscribers watch the complete video you are going to learn a very very useful trick now in through which you will be able to multiply the numbers ending in 3 and the, the numbers ending in 3 means just like we have numbers 83 and 143 you will be able to do that in a single line no traditional multiplication no calculators required watch the entire video if you have not click the subscribe button till now please do it friends and click the bell shaped icon also so that you keep on getting all the notifications of this useful and super amazing uh, short tricks on this channel okay friends so let's see the trick now i'll take up easy examples first and then slowly as we progress through you will watch how the trick can be generalized and you can multiply big numbers ending in 3 very very quickly using this amazing short trick so let's see the first example let's take two digit numbers first suppose i have 43 times 73 so the trick which i am going to use i'll call the trick as p 3s and 9 p 3s 9 So P and nine, they look like mirror images, right? And that that makes it a little bit easier to remember the trick. P and nine, they are mirror images, and in between we have the three S. Now what is P? P stands for the product, and obviously S will stand for the sum. Now product of what? Sum of what? Let's forget the threes, okay? So we have a four here, and we have a seven here. Now we are talking about the product of four and seven. That means P stands for four times seven, three times the sum. Sum means sum of the same numbers which I, I was talking about four plus seven, and finally we have the nine. So what do do we get here? This is twenty eight, and this is eleven. Three times is thirty three, and then we have the nine. So how does this help us in getting to the answer of this product? Watch the magic. The nine is a single digit number. Thirty-three is a double digit number. So retain the three here, and this number is to be carried forward. So twenty-eight plus three is thirty-one. Now pick up the calculators and check. Forty-three times seventy-three is it three one three nine? And you are going to be really, really surprised by the accuracy of the method. Okay, if you have understood, say sixty percent of this, it is okay. Let's understand the remaining forty percent by taking one more example. And now I'm going to take a three-digit number also. So let's take one hundred and twenty-three times sixty-three. So forget the threes, okay? So I want the product that is twelve times six. The remaining numbers are twelve and six, right? So twelve times six. Then I need three times twelve plus six, the sum and the nine. So this is seventy-two. And this is three times what? Eighteen. Eighteen threes are fifty-four, and finally the nine. So nine is a single digit. Fifty-four, four retained, five carried over here. So seventy-two plus five, seventy-seven, and there I get my answer: seven seven four nine. One twenty-three times sixty-three. Try it using the traditional approach. I am sure you will say that this method is super quick. <laughs> okay, let's see some more examples. How about taking 83 and 193? See, I am challenging myself now. I am slowly increasing the complexity of the question, increasing the uh, number. The bigger the number, the complexity becomes more obviously. And if we succeed in finding the correct answer for the larger numbers, then the smaller numbers are going to be really, really easy for you. So forget the threes. We have 8 and 19. So I want 8 and 19, the product. Then three times eight plus nineteen, and finally the nine, right? P three s nine. Eight nines are seventy two to seven. Eight ones are eight plus seven fifteen. So one fifty two. 
this is uh, 27 right and 27 3 times is 81 and finally the 9 so 9 1 8 added to 152 gives you 160 and the answer is 16019 <laughs> you want to apply it uh, to some more larger numbers let's see can you take two numbers both of which are three digit numbers say 113 and 243 let's take these 11 times 24 slash 3 times 11 plus 24 and slash 9 right so this is 11 264 right easy this is 35 times 3 is 105 and finally the 9 now what happens here is the 9 remains as such 105 means 5 so 5 comes here and the 10 gets carried forward so plus 10 so this is 274 so 27459 is the product and now you see how much time we are saving let's take 483 and 213 213 times 483 so this is 21 into 48 then 3 times the sum of these two is 69 and finally the 9 now how do you do 21 times 48 so for that i will use the vertical and crosswise this is 8 8 ones are 8 16 and 4 20 0 2 carry 8 plus 2 10 see 1 0 0 8 is the product vertical and crosswise the vedic maths method so 1 0 0 8 and then 3 times this is how much 180 plus 27 207 and finally the 9 so 9 7 the 20 added to this gives me 1028 and the answer is 102879 is it correct oh my god that's accurate very very accurate see some of the previous methods which i have used are being used here the vertical and crosswise and the similar methods of multiplication of two digit numbers so I, should i give you a diy or, or should should i do it myself okay let's let's do one more say so i'll take a four digit number 143 and 2073 how about this so the first thing is the 207 here and the 14 here i need to multiply them right so i know my 14 times table so that's pretty easy for me 14 7s are 98 so here we have a 0 so 98 will come as it is and 14 2 times is 28 so 2898 so 2898 and then 3 times what the sum right now what is the sum of 207 and 14 it is 221 221 and then the 9 so this is 2898 and then 663 and then 9 so 9 3 66 added here 8 plus 6 14 4 1 carry 16 6 1 carry 29 so 2 9 6 4 3 9 is the product of these two required numbers so numbers ending in 3 remember the trick p 3 s 9 and there we go practice 30 40 50 such questions by taking random numbers which end in 3 and you will find the trick very very useful friends so friends if you're liking all these videos please give it a share you know that's what the educators want they want more people to watch the videos and more people to benefit more people to engage on the channel so that we get lots of comments and i'll surely reply to your comments okay so practice a lot and i'm sure you are going to calculate 10 times faster if you use all these tricks so friends, if you want a compilation of these short tricks, we have an ebook of short tricks carrying a very nominal cost. So you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963. I'll tell you how to get a copy of that particular exclusive ebook of short tricks. So friends, all the best for practicing this. Do let me know in the comments whether this benefited you or not.